Hi, and thanks for joining us at Nelly's Surplus. Today in our PSS video tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a DVR and an IP camera to PSS. We'll also show you how to manage both of those. Next, we'll show you how to display the camera views, how to create a task, how to make that task auto start whenever you start up PSS. And lastly, we'll show you how to search for videos using PSS. Let's begin. Now, before you add a device in PSS, you'll need to access the Device Manage window. To do this, you can either click on the Device list, right click and select Device Manage, or you can go to Setting Manage and Device Manage. These will both bring up your Device Manage window where you can add devices such as uh, DVRs, NVRs, or IP cameras. Now that we're at the device manage screen in PSS, the first thing we're going to do is add a DVR. In our case here, it's, uh, we're going to go ahead and add the hybrid. Now, be sure and put in the title and the description. Um, these can be anything, but generally you'll want the title to, uh, to define what, what the device is, such as an NVR, uh, a DVR, or an IP camera. Uh, the next thing is the IP address. Now this is going to be your LAN IP if you're uh, using PSS from your home. If you're using it outside of your network, you want to put in your wide area network or WAN IP. Once that's complete, put in the username and password, then confirm the password, and click Save. Once it's saved, you'll see it appear at the top there. Now in this video, what we're going to do is add an individual IP camera to PSS. Be sure and put in your title and your description. And next you want to put in the IP address of your IP camera. Then next we'll put in our username and password. And be sure and confirm the password to the right. Once complete, click the save button. And you should see the device you just added appear at the top of the device manage screen. Now what we're going to do is add our camera views to the left side of PSS in these windows here. Now there's two different ways of going about this. The first way, you can drag and drop the cameras from the device list directly into the windows. To do that, you just hold down the left click, and just drag the camera over and place it into whichever window you'd like it to display in. And there's also another way. What you do first is left click in the window that you want it to display and it'll highlight it green on the outside as you can see here. Then you go over to your device list and double click on the camera you want to display. And that automatically puts it in that highlighted window. Once the camera view is in the highlighted window, the highlight will change to the next and it'll just keep going in order. So say, for example, we wanted to put in another camera view in this screen, we just double click. And that camera's disconnected right now, but we can go to the next one, and the next one, so on and so forth. So just to review, you could drag and drop, or you can highlight the window first and double click on the camera, and it'll add it to it. And those are the two different ways to add your cameras into PSS. Now that we know how to add uh, DVRs, NVRs, and IP cameras to PSS, another really cool feature is monitoring them both at the same time. So you see here on our device list we have our DVR listed and also the IP camera that we added. So what we're going to do is uh, bring in two different uh, cameras, one from the hybrid and the IP camera, both into view at the same time. So we select our camera from the hybrid list here, drag it and drop it into the window. Now we scroll down to our IP camera. This is the one we just added in the previous steps. We see it here, just do the exact same thing, drag it and drop it into the window. Like I said earlier, this is a very cool feature of PSS, being able to monitor 
uh, more than one device at the same time. Now I'm going to show you how to create an, a task in PSS and this is a very easy way to do this. First what we need to do is create our task name by going to setting manage and then go to scheme task config. Now here you'll see um, a couple things listed on the left if you created a task before but for now let's click the new button at the bottom. Now just input any task name you'd like and you can select how many windows you'd like to display. We'll just select four for now. And instead of uh, manually adding it, uh, which is uh, the normal way to, add, to do the PSS task, from here just go ahead and hit OK. And now you should see the name of the task that you just created in the monitor task list on the left. And go ahead and hit OK one more time. Now what we need to do is add our cameras to the views on the left hand side. And just like I explained in the last step, you can either drag and drop or double click to add them. So once we get each camera in there, now that we have four views, right click, go down to add all windows to task, and click on the task name that you just created. And now if you close all the video, go down here to task, and select your task name, and there you go. It's automatically created. Now what we're going to show you is how to make a task auto start once you boot up PSS. So once you have PSS started, we want to click the config button at the bottom and then select option from the drop down box. Now here towards the middle of the page you should see a tick box that says auto start task. We want to check that one. And then directly to the right of that you'll see a task name. Be sure and select the task name you just created on the drop down box. Once you're finished click the OK button. And now let's close PSS. and then let's restart it. And once PSS boots up, you should see all the camera views that you added to your task automatically come up. And that's an easy way to have it auto start once you boot up PSS. Now that we know how to create a task and auto start the task once PSS boots up, the next thing we'll learn how to do is how to search for videos. First, what you want to do is click on the playback icon towards the bottom of the screen. This will bring up a new window. And here, select your device from the drop-down list at the top. We're going to select Work Hybrid as an example. And to the right of that, you'll see your camera list from in that drop-down box. Now what we can do is we can either select one camera to choose from, or we can also select multiple channel and add. This way you can go through and add different cameras. But for now what we'll do is just search for one of them. So we're going to select our 3 megapixel uh, IP camera, dome IP camera here. And for the date we'll leave it at 12-4-2012. And let's Next, we're going to set the time. Do is set it to from about let's do about 8:30 to 8:55. And be sure sort by time is checked because if you select sort by file, that'll uh, it's a completely different way to search. So once you have your date, your time frame, start and end time, click the search button. Once that's complete, you'll see the search uh, results appear at the bottom here. And once that's checked, just click the play button. And you should see uh, a picture pop up on the right hand side. Double click to, to maximize it. Here what this is doing is giving us a time frame from 8.30 to 8.55. On the bottom timeline here, you can select 
uh, per hour and this is the minute timeline at the top so it looks like we detected motion here here and these two points here and that's how you search in PSS now uh, we're back in PSS this time what we're going to do is search for more than one channel uh, or camera channel so go ahead and select your device list from the drop down box and choose the first camera you would like in there I'm going to pick that same one be sure and select the multiple channel box make sure there's a check mark in that and once you have your camera selected you click the add button and once that's added to the left hand side select the next channel and just do that for as many as you, uh, many as you want to view on the right hand side And now for our, on our last search, we had about a 12-hour search. This time what we're going to do is just refine it uh, a little more closely. So let's go ahead and start at 8.50. And to about 9 o'clock. It's important to make sure you change the PM on the end time. If you want to refine the search, uh, make sure it's, it matches the AM or PM of your first starting search. As you can see here, we have all four cameras that we chose and the views on the right hand side. Now you can select from the timeline, from the top one, which is the, the minute timeline, or the bottom, which is the hours. Since we refined our search to about 10, 10 or 15 minutes, generally you want to select the top uh, timeline or select the minutes from the top timeline. Now, just to review, what we did is first selected our device from the drop down list then we selected our camera channel once we had our camera channel selected we click the add button which added it to the left hand channel side here then we selected three more camera channels and added those after that you select your date and then your start time and then you input your end time and make sure sort by time is selected and once complete click the search button once your search is found at the bottom here click play and it all should appear on the right hand side keep in mind you can also double click on the view to maximize these and that concludes our PSS tutorial video